Is this thing on? Oh my gosh, you guys, please. My name is Buzzdale. You may have heard of my wife, Cindy. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's gone for now, but I think she's coming back soon. Oh my God. You guys, she's gaining a lot of weight. She doesn't go to the gym, and she refuses to buy me beer. And I'm pretty sure she budgets with money that she didn't even earn, you guys. Help. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So that was my lovely husband, Buzz. So today I thought I would do a meet my husband Q&A. Like I'm pulling questions from the husband tag as well as the military spouse tag. And yeah, let's just get started. So first question, how and where did we meet? We met through mutual friends of mine, uh, a Marine Corps buddy. And basically what happened is he sent me pictures of Cindy and I really liked him, so then I got her number. So, my side of the story, I just turned 20, and my friend was like, you should talk to this really great guy. And I thought, no, because he was 25, and I thought, um, a little older. I have never dated older guys before, but <laughs> it's five year difference. Fast forward a couple months, I decided, sure, I'll give this guy a chance and my best friend sent pictures of me to him and that was that he gave me a call that night we talked for a very long time and i didn't think that he was going to text me the next day because i didn't want to get my hopes up but he texted me the next day and because i'm oh. a gentleman so this was january of 2016 and we didn't meet until march was it march <clears throat> I believe it was March. The first time we met, he flew me out to California because I was in Arizona at the time for school. And he flew me out and I was really nervous because I thought, oh my gosh, what if he's going to kidnap me? <laughs> <laughs> but we've been FaceTiming and stuff so I knew what he looked like and what he... And also we had mutual friends so I had nothing to worry about. So right after I got off the plane... I saw her coming down like... Um walking down the hall, so it was like on a second store, and I see this humongous head and a little <laughs> body. I was like, oh no. <laughs> but you were looking all right, so. Just so everyone knows, we had been talking on FaceTime on the phone for like four months, so it was, it's a little weird, I get it, but it wasn't that weird. Yeah, it wasn't weird at all. It was a little weird. <laughs> so what was your first impression of me? Um, very nice girl. First impressions are often deceiving. <laughs> so we had a good first impression. My first impression of this guy, okay, he was very sweet, a gentleman, mm -hmm. you know, very mature, very mm -hmm. different from all the guys that I was talking to, like college kids. Ew. <laughs> How and where was our first date? First date was at California Pizza Kitchen, and uh, it was good. It was good. Did you want to explain to them? I got anything? a little flustered uh, by some other customers. And so I walked out on Cindy on accident because I was so mad. But other than that, it went pretty well. Everyone in the restaurant was like, oh my gosh, did he just leave you here? I'm just like, hey, why don't you shut up and mind your own business? <laughs> yes. So yeah, I went to the bathroom and I came out and all I see was him getting up from the table and then walking out. I'm like, what the? Something happened. I can't go into details. Something happened with another customer. All right. And I, I was just like, is he leaving me here in California? Like... Am I going to be stranded here? I just stood there by our table and he turned back at me and I was like, what are you doing? He's fine. All is forgiven. Where was our first kiss and how was it? Our first kiss was in LA. We were driving up from San Diego to Bakersfield and I was driving and we were in traffic and you said, hey daddy, let me taste them with that mustache. <laughs> That's freaking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, we were just sitting in traffic, okay, so we weren't moving at all. And he looked at me and he's like, Oh, you didn't give me a kiss when I got off the when I got off the plane. And I was like, Oh yeah. So I, I grabbed his one. face and went. I didn't want one. How did you know I was the one? How did I know you were the one? There comes a time in every man's life where he reaches his peak. And you realize when you're at the peak, you have a very short time to either what did I say? They grasp or you settle. And I'm not going <laughs> to grasp. So, there you were. I was at my peak. 
Time to settle, baby. I just knew. I just had a feeling. He had so many good military benefits. <laughs> it's hard to say no. He was just so different from all the guys that I was dating and I was just praying for like a strong man, Christian man. Our values aligned, like our values and beliefs aligned. It just, it just felt right. How do you resolve problems? Cindy resolves problems with violence. Uh, verbal and physical abuse are her favorite tools. And she also uses Lucy against me. She threatens to take her away from me all the time. Aww, that's so sad. Uh, I think it's just, when you want to be mean, you kind of just take a second and just say something not mean. You don't have to be nice. Just don't be as mean as you want it to be. We don't really fight about, like, big things because we're, as you say, equally yoked. As long as you guys have similar beliefs and values, you'll be okay. Where are you and your spouse originally from? I'm originally from San Diego. Cindy's originally from New Jersey. We're not sure where. Morristown. No one knows what that is. How long have we been together, relationship and marriage? Relationship-wise, I don't know, and I don't really care. I don't know if that's bad, I don't. We've been married since November 20th? What year? 2016. Yes. So, over a year. Relationship, I think it's... Oh, this is bad. I don't really remember either. I don't we... think it's that bad. Who cares? Like two years? Two and a half years? Something like that. So, children, how many do you want? I want two boys and a girl. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I think that's a good one, too. I want three, at least three, maybe more if I could handle it. While we're having our first, you know that. You guys know that. So what is my heritage and where am I from? Well, hey, little disclaimer, nobody get mad, okay? But Cindy is from Vietnam. I know it's bad, okay? <laughs> but it's not her fault. You can't choose where you're born, okay? And you can't choose to be from a country that, you know, completely destroyed American lives. And we can never forgive her for what she's done, but grace and mercy is what a Christian person should do. He is Scott Irish. What else? Scandinavian. Scandinavian. And, and British mostly. Drop a Jewish, drop a Native American. Don't let this facade fool you. He's like... What'd you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> weird habits of each other. Oh, I know my weird habit. And I know it's already gonna get sad, but I can't help it. But Cindy's weird habit is She's really into doing my toenails. <laughs> no! Okay. She's okay. obsessing about them. I take off my boots and she just goes straight to them, sniffs them, cleans them. I mean, it's nice, but it's kind of gross. That is completely untrue. And his weird habits, he does this weird thing in his sleep <laughs> where he scratches his hands, like it soothes him. So sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night to excessive hand scratching. I have itchy hands. Maybe if you would scratch my hands before bed. <laughs> what can I spend hours doing? Watching makeup tutorials. Watching gun videos and yes. documentaries. Yes, scratching my hands. Scratching your hands. Reading. Oh yeah, reading, he could do that. The Come Bible. In. Who was the one to say I love you first and where was it? Cindy. Completely untrue. Cindy, because she just couldn't contain herself. I was like, girl, I was supposed to say it first. So this was after I came back to Arizona from Bakersfield. It was like every time we hung up the phone, like I wanted to say I love you, you know? It was like getting to that point where like, I I think I love this guy, you know? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. the one night we were texting and I told him, you don't even like me or something like that. And he said, I opposite of hate you and at first I was like okay and then hold up opposite of hate me obviously I meant like <laughs> <laughs> he basically said it and I said well I opposite of hate you too but then I think a couple days afterwards he told me on the phone that he loved me where did your spouse go to basic training I went to San Diego Yes, MCRD in San Diego. And has your spouse ever deployed? Yes. He's deployed six times? No. Five times? No. How many times? Four times. Four times in seven years. Have you ever been to his promotion ceremony? I no. asked her to come and she said she would rather die. It's just not 
I'm not into it. I'm just kidding. He was promoted in Australia, and I obviously wasn't in Australia. Do you like the benefits you have received as a military dependent? Oh, does she? You <laughs> might say she likes them more than she likes me. Shut up! No! <laughs> it's a plus. Definitely a plus. But I did marry him for his... Bennies. It's Bennies. How did your husband propose? Oh, how did I do it? Mm -hmm. The only way you should do it. Via text, obviously. Uh, he didn't really propose because... Well, I was deployed, okay? Judge me. I don't care. Yeah, and so when he came back, we got married, like, almost a month after. And how old were you two when you got married? I was... 20... 26? Yeah, 26. And I was 21. How long were you married when you had to go through your first separation? We haven't gone through a separation, unfortunately. Does that mean deployed? Yes. Oh. We were dating for three no no we were dating for four months before he deployed for six months and then when he came back a month later we got married isn't that interesting i know do you think your spouse looks so good in his uniform just with the <laughs> sleeves rolled oh girl yeah he has to have that and i want him to shave it off because it hurts me like when he kisses me but i like his hair the hair looks good the hair this haircut just but this, this has to go. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, he's my best friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we enjoyed making it for you guys. And hopefully you got to know my husband a little bit better. Because I always talk about him. And I just wanted to feature him in one of my videos. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe. If you don't like it, then you don't support the troops. We'll see you guys later in my next video. Bye, guys.